Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. Well, we really want to focus on chronomant techniques today. We've got uh, spring weather, it's May. It's actually cold, really cold, being really windy, but we're at a beautiful lake. It's going to calm down hopefully a bit. We have the swallows working. You know, we've got a bunch of them working the water, which means chronomants should come off, we're hoping. So that's today, so we take you sport fishing on the fly. That's a healthy bow. Look at how fat he is. And that Beauty. is a, so that little thing. So look at what he ate. I just got a short, but as soon as I get it out, look at this. That is a size 18, 18, 2X long. Small, little black red rib, can't go wrong. So what I'm gonna do is throw a sample this guy. See what we got. Oh, man. Ah. Yeah, look at how fat he is. You know, that's a just a solid, solid. I can't even get my hand around. Him. He's so big. Yeah, he's big. It's a gorgeous fish. Just got the throat sample. There he is. There. Okay. Yeah. I'll hold him up for everybody. Just so they can see how how beautiful. Well, it's nice that we've been fishing for two minutes. <laughs> two minutes. We have just got going. And you can know these fish are so big you can't even get them around the around the pedunco, but look at how beautiful that is. It's just cruel. Oh. There he goes. Okay, let's see what he's got. Sheesh. Good thing I turned around when I did. <laughs> it was probably a could have certainly been a, a lost rod there. Yeah. Okay, so the karate's haven't they're just starting. And what do we got in there? We got a, uh, yeah, we got a little, a couple. He's just starting chrome and black, just like the oh, shadow. Yeah. They're just chrome and black, about a size 16, 2X long. Chrome and black, exactly the shadow chrome. And I got, I got a shadow, but with a red rib. Beautiful. <laughs> I was just moving my seat into position. Right off, first cast. Yeah, and you know, in the mornings, we usually expect smaller fish but it has potential for big guys. Oh, oh no. ah, that's good. His throat sample early on, especially <laughs> in chronomet hatches, right? Yeah. Imperative. <laughs> you can't uh, lose them. <laughs> that's a good start though. Too bad, so what'd you start with? The one we picked the out little, last yeah. night? Yeah. Black with a chrome rim. You can't go wrong. Black chrome and chrome. Rim. That's our little black, that's our little shadow chronomet. Yeah. Yeah, shadow, from the site. The shadow pack, yeah. Shadow it's pack. always a good one. It's always a good one. It's a good starter, just like the Teddy. Oh, oh well, I got a, I finally got us back to the big camera. You know, and the cool thing is we're anchored in, anchored in 20 feet. 
Okay. And we're fishing. I'm fishing actually 18 feet now. Oh, oh nice. And you're Whoa. fishing. You're fishing shallower water. Oh, well, look at that. Uh, that's a chunk. That is a gorgeous fish. Yeah, look at how fat he is. <laughs> He's just a beautiful fat. I dig the big airborne. Right in the All tip. right. Well, you get the fly out. And that's oh. the shadow chronomet again. Yeah. Yeah, little shadow. that little shadow, size 16 shadow, 2x yeah. long. Okay. The ones we sell on the site, that's one of our most biggest sellers, is the shadows. Okay. Hang that guy over the side. Like hold him up. Okay. If you can. I'll just hold him over the net here yeah. and see what I can do with him here. Wait until he. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just a gorgeous chrome. That's fish. a slab, that eh? Oh, yeah. Beautiful slab. Look at all the pretty colors, the panast. There it goes. Yeah. Oh. Double header right off the bat. <laughs> a good double header. <laughs> Crazy. Freaking big fish though. And they came in a pod just like that. Just yeah. like when we started. We got those two fish instantly. Yeah. Right? And, then, and then we waited Half five, an ten hour, minutes. Oh, then it yeah. was like, bam. Right. Then they okay. came again. Oh, okay. Oh, it's early. It's just starting. It's going to be a great chronomid day today. <laughs> it started raining back. Good air time on that guy. Oh, that was really good. Just two big oh, one more. Come on, go. No, now he's shaking. Oh, now he's shaking down there. Down there shaking. He's Look at his... you, you're all, you're all bundled up. <laughs> the big front came in on us. It's, uh, I just looked. It's 5 to 10. It's May, what, 5th or 6th or something today? Yeah. And uh, it's 8 degrees. Eight and we're in a low-level lake. <laughs> <laughs> Some oh. of the lakes we fished earlier would be snowing today. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, that makes for good chronomet. Yeah. You get that overcast sky oh, and rain shake. and chronies come off. It's gone into the head shaking. Yeah, nice fish That's though. some spectacular leaps though. It wasn't as big as the last guy, but still a nice fish. Yeah, and we got different combinations going, right? I've got, I'm fishing deeper. I'm about 16 feet. You're down about 12. 12, yeah. Because we want to. I'm probably fishing 14 or yeah. 15 feet. Yeah, you're in the shallower stuff in there. I'm out fishing out here a little deeper. And, uh, and but it's right, like it's every 15 minutes. We've yeah. seen the pod come through and then we get them. Well, we know we're dialed in with the shadow. Yeah. So you know what? This one might be a good one. To do another throw sample to see what he's to eating. See if to see if the hatch has started. Yeah, exactly. Well, and while you bring him in, I'm going to get my rod oh, out nice. of the water. It is yeah, a nice one. It's a really nice fish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I could probably get it. He will refuses. Oh. Just gotta get his head. There we yeah, get his head up. up. I didn't have him down far enough. Boy, he's digging. Okay. He's digging. Oh, you oh. Gotta, oh, gotta get his head there. There we go. There you go. Okay. Okay, you're gonna have to do the the honors. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, your back is proof. Okay. Well, I got to do it. The bulldog's back is cooked. You threw <laughs> it up. Too many anchor poles. Anchor poles, yeah, too many anchor poles in the past few I'll days. But out. that's all right. That's one nice fish. So, so again, you know, quick, easy way. Just keep him in the water. Make sure it's down in the narrowing. Pull it out. Oh, and that's it. We got a little sample. I'll just hold him up. Yeah, he's a little. Oh man, that's cold still. There he is there. Oh, gorgeous. Look at the look at the bronze color on him. Oof. Yeah, sure, that's why you fake <laughs> faking a back injury. Look at the rain here. This is crazy. Well, let's see what he got. Oh. oh a little bit bigger, size 14, but all chrome with black rib. All yeah. chrome with black rib. Like that. I don't think it's going to change for a while. So, you know, every, we throw a sample every hour or two and see. And right now, but not, you know, a couple of older ones and one fresh one. So they really, they really haven't cranked up yet. So a good way to approach it too, like Dale and I here. Dale's working in shallower, so he's hanging about 12 feet. 
and I'm just out a little bit deeper. So we're off a ledge, I'm hanging about 16 feet. And then you see, then you're covering a zone where those fish are cruising. So then you find out whether they're cruising a little shallower. Of course, you're always looking for active fish or, you know, get them a little deeper. But you know, the crazy thing is, they eh, bully, we've had them at oh, deep yeah. and shallow. Well, they just, they come in a pod. Yeah. We've had double headers and yeah. you know, they always, the bites all at once. Yeah, it's random right now. So uh, it's about 10 o'clock. We just started. We've had a great day so far. We're hoping that we're hoping for better weather. <laughs> you finally got your hoodie off. Yeah. Well, so that's, that's good. Probably there's fish you can't <laughs> film because of the rain. Yeah, so. exactly. We've had a couple we couldn't film because it was pouring, but looks like it might clear off for us. And everybody's hanging down on the flats down there. Oh, that was huge here. Fish. Oh, too bad we can never crank Big off. fish. Oh, it's a beautiful fish. All on the chrome rib, chrome rib shadow, eh? Yeah. 16 2x long. Just match the hatch. Yeah, this is a nice fish. Yeah, it's big when he fish. took to the air, I love seeing fish that size go in the air. Oh, there you go. So recommended setup that we always like to use again. You got your dry line. I'm going to show everybody the three, the three best setups when you're chronometing. But one is, I'll mention them now and then show them. Is one is the, you know shallow water. Rig it so you're fishing, you know six to twelve feet like Dale's got. Then rig another one where you've got it deeper. You can fish up to twenty feet. And then of course we have our wet line to go straight down if we if we got to go deep water. You know that's good for twenty feet plus. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, Come on, one big jump. He's and a big he, fit. Well, he did that I off know. the bean, but you think that the other ones have been jumping two or three times. Oh, so. I know. One big error, and then he just stopped. He's too big. He's too big. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's side. still battling him. It's impossible to control. He's huge. He's big? Oh, he's freaking huge, yeah. How big? He's looking like six or more. Oh, yeah. yeah. He looks oh, yeah, he's a nice one, eh? He looks big. Oh, that big air when they jump, I love that. Huh. And, you know, you got to be pretty delicate. You got like seven, eight pound test yeah, on. Yeah, you got to go with the smaller. Yeah, because of the, the smaller flies. But, oh, yeah, oh, that's yeah. a gorgeous fish. Gorgeous fish. Oh, oh, no. Oh, I oh, thought no. he got off there. No. He was just <laughs> tangled around. That looked like an anchor rope That's about to happen there. So tough, he's wound again a little bit. Oh, every time they get wound up, oh, man. oh. there he goes again. Oh, he's the down. rain is relentless. It's always da dangerous by this anchor rope, though. When you got the rear yeah. anchor down, it's, yeah. with big fish like this, there's no control by the, especially when you're trying to net by yourself. Yeah. If you ever get his head up. Oh, gee, Wes. Ah. Oh. No? No. Just gotta gotta be dragging his head into the net or we're toast. It's just he can't give him any leverage. You gotta drag that straight in. You gotta keep him up. Oh, oh. man. Well, look at. There. Oh. Got him. Got him in gee, there. Yeah, that was tough. What? A Camera. Tank. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a beauty bow. Just gorgeous, nice and fat. Oh, oh, oh. Let me try to get All right. The hook out first. When you get the hook out, oh. and then you'll have to see if you can yeah, get him on the way. Yeah. To be able to reach over here, man, he's in. He's in prime. Yeah, he's gorgeous. Yeah. I don't know if the hook, I don't know if the hook's still in or... Yeah, the line's going that way. Can't see. Oh, no, 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 it's out. Dry. Shadow's I out. I didn't think so. Yeah. You know, so that's almost, is the length yeah. of the net? Yeah. So close to 23-ish. Yeah, it's nice, but nice and fat. Yeah, look at Just that. gorgeous. Look at the chrome Yeah, colors. he's about their length. He's yeah, sticking out 22, the yeah, beautiful. Just. Nice chrome bullet, perfect, nice and healthy. Yeah. There he goes. Yeah, I think he's 
I think he's kind of like a medium, <laughs> which is good. We'll see, like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, and I was, I tweaked it a little bit. I just Shallow with the shadow. Yeah, and I tweaked it a little bit, like I was just getting a little, a little motion. motion, and then he. Nice. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of like, I think, in the mid range, you were sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, still. Well, we consider him here one of the smaller guys, but still the clock is. Oh, yeah, you. You won't be re. You won't be reefing fish in here, that's for sure. No it's more. You got to be prepared to play them out, no matter what the size. You they are right. funky. Like, look at—he's not. Well, compared to the others, but well, in any lake, that's a. Oh, yeah, it's all relative, right? When you're, yeah. When you're fishing trophy lakes, you got two big fish. You, know, you get one to you get one to two or three yeah. pounds. You're like, ah, oh, little guy, yeah. shake him off, type thing. But they're really digging that shadow, eh? Yeah. The silver shadow, yeah. it is. It's a winner. It's a killer. Okay, let's see if he'll come back up from, from the depth. They rip right yeah. back down because we're in 20 feet. Yeah. There he is. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay, you got him. You got him up. You should be able to get him in now. You got him. <laughs> there you go. Nice getting a, nice getting a smaller one. <laughs> Nice chunker. Oh right? yeah, they're gorgeous fish. Even you know, even that size. It's just look at how healthy. Yeah. Right? They're just healthy fish. Yeah. yeah just drop them. And it's always the best. You don't even have to touch the fish. You can just yeah. let yeah. him do his thing. Drop the net. Isn't that nice? Oh, I didn't see. He just went. <laughs> okay, so that's shadow chronomid in about. You're hanging a boat, you figure. I'm hanging 12 feet. 12 I think feet. I'm in about 14 feet. There you go. That's the ticket. That roughly where, where I am. am. 14 feet of water, roughly there. Cool. So after that, uh, the stint there, I got a couple of deeper. And then Dale started getting the big guys in shallow. So I changed rods, you know, and the rod, the different rod setups. Again, I'm going to talk about them. I'll show them as I talk. This one here is my short, what I call my short rod setup. I've got about 15 feet. I've got a 12 foot leader down to my swivel and then a few feet down to the fly. So that allows me to get into that anywhere from six feet out to 15 feet, which is perfect. Then I've got my deep line set up for, for dry that I've got a, a real long 15 foot leader, super long, along with a whole bunch extra added on to get me down to 20, 25 feet, which is a real nice setup. Again, same thing, dry line with your swivel, same setup. And then I've got Dale and I, we got our deep one, and the, the deep one, you know, we fish 60 to 80 feet in lakes like White, gone way down with chronometing, full sink line with our little swivel, the little weight on top to keep you down there, and those are the three setups you need, for sure. And here, I'll let me get the, get the net. Oh, and this guy, nice little, little, guy. Nice little guy, little cromer. You know, all I did is I had to change rods, so when you're starting out, have one guy shallow, one guy deeper. Locate the fish, locate, and get dialed into the fly. So actually I did two things. I'm just gonna let this guy go. He's a little guy, there he goes. Is, I tried a red rib. Not, you know, I got a couple fish on the small little 18, 2X long red rib, and then nothing. Dale stuck with the shadow, and again, banging them. Then we did the throat sample, and what do we see? You know, more shadows. So. I finally linked, or went to the other rod and went with the shadow. Not surprising, but we got dialed in. It's, you know, we're just coming up to lunch. I think we've got it figured out. We're in about 12 feet of water now, so adapt it. Whoever's catching the fish, go with what they got, and you're in for a great day. So let's get some more big ones. <laughs> oh my God. In the rain. In the rain, the tragic rain. It's just being freaking raining. Well, that steady. mayfly hatch came off. <laughs> And then it kind of, I think, brought maybe some of the fish back in. <laughs> I'm still on the, the chronomid, the shadow. Yeah, you're still on the shadow. The nice been, thing is... I've been testing like the leeches and mayflies, everything else. And it's just, they're always just on that shadow. 
They are. And in that yeah. spot, you've got them all in that oh, little pocket. Every single every fish. single fish is being right in right that little out of pocket that spot. Yeah. yeah, crazy. But that's what happens sometimes, right? They key in those little pockets, and that's it. Yeah. It's the only place you're going to get them. How's he look? Well, he's he's definitely heavy, so really? he'll be a good. He's a good one. Be a good fish for sure. <laughs> Oh, yeah. With the old shadow. So the big flash down You can't there. go wrong with the shadow. It's a nice one. Nice one. Yep. Yeah. Not mid-range. And you're still hanging about the same si same feet. distance. Yeah, 12 feet. 12 feet. I think I'm in like a 14 foot hole there. 14 yeah. or 15 feet and it's, and it's every one of them has come I've out I've been there, same. yeah. And that's the crazy part. You know, I'd be working this ledge over here, got a couple early as it was coming into the to pocket where the weeds are, but it's after the weeds with the wind blowing in this little seam, this little pocket. That's where they're all sitting, and nothing downstream. Really weird, eh? Really focused. Really focused. Yeah. So that's one thing to note too is they can be very focused. Yeah, there's just little patch coming off. The carmids yeah. are all coming off of one one little area. Patch of mud. Oh, it's a good one. Yeah, he's nice. Oh, yeah. Good fighter. But it's nice that the nice thing about it is all the fish you're catching yeah. are quality fish. Yeah. Right? If you have to wait for fish, it's always nice <laughs> that they're this size. Yeah. Right, well, it's a mid size. Yeah, that's kind of our, yeah. our mid sizer. All right, I might as well just let them go there, eh? Yeah, I'm just waiting. Okay. Look at that loon. All right, draw. We'll see. What, yeah, the loons, right, both of them are right under us. We'll let him go. Hopefully, he makes it. Well, he's a big he's fish. He's a big fish, yeah. He's, big. he's bigger. Too big for the loon. I hope so. Yeah, see, there's the loon chasing him, but he's good to go. Okay, on the shadow in that little pocket. Yes. Unreal. The I shadow. Same exact <laughs> pocket. <laughs> Look at the weather. It's oh, tragic. It's May. Eight degrees. Oh. That's terrible. Brutal. <laughs> Rain. Oh. Well, keep checking it. I'm gonna have to get in that little pocket too now. Oh, oh. another nice fish. Exact same spot. Exact same fly. <laughs> he has stayed with the shadow because we pumped him out You of there. sit in your chair. I you sit just in my in little pocket, chair, and I, you have them budged. I fish. And it's just them. random acts of kindness every you know half an hour right now. Yeah, they're all nice fish though. Yeah, That's yeah. what's nice. But, but the funny, the night, but it's funny you've tried every experiment. I have gone through 30 different flies <laughs> just to see if they would eat something else. Nope. And every once in a while they'll eat that shadow. But you know, I've had the red and black, I've had the teddy, right? Yeah. I've had the zucchini, I've had every different size of all those, and they just won't eat it. And, and yet we've seen it in the throat sample. Yeah. We've seen the various sizes and colors. But this shadow. But this is one, the prominent one. This is the prominent one. And in sure. that same hole. I right go back there. in it's very right. specific. <laughs> he, he sits in his chair <laughs> and he bobber <laughs> fishes right there. Right there. It's it's unreal. And like I said, I've worked it back and forth everywhere out here a little deeper. And I haven't touched a fish in the past <laughs> hour. It's crazy, eh? Yeah, isn't like, it? It is. It's really insane how they can be oh. keyed in that one little area. But they are. Oh, nice. Right. nice. Oh. That's another dandy. Oh, look at he's been. He's been. Oh, he's why's off. out? Shadow's out. You can just uh, let him go from yeah, there. I'll let him go. Oh, that's nice. So we're catching. Yeah. There he is there. Oh, and he's gone. Uh, oh, yeah. And the pouring rain. <laughs> like, what would Chatter say to us right now? Stay with the shadow. <laughs> and what else he would say? Well, Dale. Yeah, well, Dale. Well done. <laughs> this weather isn't looking good, but we're catching fish. <laughs> yeah, the odd well, there one it is here and there. Right but... there. You have to be right in that little hole. Well, right everybody's been moving. All yeah. the boats have been moving all around us because nobody it's can find right where they're there. at. Right, man. right there. Like it's crazy. Whoa, whoa. Well, the rain has not left us. <laughs> We actually had to move, you know, Dale had his, his little pocket, I call it. The little, the little pocket was unbelievable. But they stopped biting there. As soon as I changed over to the uh, shadow chronomen like he had on, we threw a few more out, had a couple of smaller fish, but nothing big. 
So we decided to slide down a little bit, wide open right now because of the rain. It's just a tragic day today for the rain. But of course, in the rain, you get great chronomid hatches a lot of times. Like that's just the way it is, especially in the spring. And we moved in a couple of casts, and this guy ate. Again, none of the big boys yet. I mean, you got some nice ones. Dale got some nice ones. But, uh, you know, I had that decent one at the start. He had a couple more, but the big guys are elusive right now. But these are nice fish. These are all dead. Oh, fish. yeah, these are not. I mean, no. Again, it's just because we're in a big fish lake that. But crazy, though, you yeah. know, like, I think I was saying to everybody earlier, I went through, I, I would think, got to be close to 30 flies. When Dale had the shad one and cat and fish, I thought, you know, they had other other condiments in them. They have to eat something else. And I went through the red and blacks. I went through greens, some browns. Of course, different sizes, like 18s all the way to 14s. And I couldn't buy one. I had a couple of bumps, but they didn't eat it. So I, <laughs> I tried to explain that. Yeah, well. You know, we saw a variety in their, uh, you know, we took the throat sample. So who knows? They just like the shadow. So I'll get them over here on, on this side. Easier to handle. And again, a nice quality fish. Yeah, no, even for a little just fish, they yeah. just, even the small fish yeah. are nice. Oh, they're, yeah, they're awesome. And okay, flies out. And again, just same, same shadow crow hunting that we've been using. The shadow. And there's a little guy, I'll just hold them up. But look at how, look at how porky they are. They're, they're just really, really healthy fish. Healthy panaks. Oh, oh never squeezing, there he goes. Little guy. Well, oh, I don't know, like, like Chandler would say, how long do we put up with this rain? <laughs> <laughs> well, we just move. Might as well yeah. try it. It's only 2.30. Maybe we'll try it for another half try an hour or something. Yeah. We're close we to guy. the boat launch now anyway. Oh, yeah. yeah. If not, we're out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've had enough. <laughs> you know, it's been a, actually a surprisingly a great day. We had just an excellent morning, right? And yeah. you had your little honey hole. Yeah. You're in your yeah, comfort zone, little, which was yeah. really nice. Slid down, caught a few more fish, got on smaller fish later on. So we didn't film a whole bunch, but a good day. Other than me throwing my back out. Yeah. <laughs> Pull the anchor, the old guy, he's getting old. You're he's getting old, gonna have to trade him in. Anybody want to sub in for the bulldog, <laughs> let me know, because he is getting old. <laughs> Anyways, it was a great day. Yeah. If you want to venture like this, you know, you got to come over to the Kamloops area, all through Salmon Arm, Kamloops, Great Lakes. But make sure you got the right setups, right? I showed you all those chronomous setups. Be ready for deep line, get ready for, you know, 20, 25 feet and shallow six to 12 feet like we had today. It was pretty awesome. Exactly. But when you come out here, you gotta take care. Conserve waters and we'll see you next time. We take you sport fishing on the fly and hopefully we're not in the rain. Cause this <laughs> is tragic. Warm shower, that's what I <laughs> think right now. Get dried off. Oh man.